Hey guys, welcome back to Planet Zizzle. I will be your toy commander on today's toy mission. So before we get on to today's toy review, let's talk some new discoveries in outer space. Yippee. On September 22nd, 2023, astronomers using data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope have identified carbon dioxide in a specific region of the icy surface of Jupiter's moon Europa. Now Jupiter's moon Europa is one of a handful of worlds in our solar system that could potentially harbor the conditions suitable for life. So previous research has discovered that beneath its watery ice crust surface lies a ocean with a rocky seafloor. However, planetary scientists have not yet confirmed if that ocean contained all the necessary chemicals to harbor oh, life, man. particularly carbon. But still, some very interesting news about Europa. So maybe there is some life under that salty crust ice. Ooh, la, la. All right, guys, so you may have remembered about a month ago, I did a video called Beast Lab, where I created a cool shark in the Planet Zizzle studio. Now. They're back. Beast Lab is back again with a new creature. This time, we're gonna be creating a dinosaur. Awesome! So we have two dinosaurs to collect in here. Here's some cool pictures. And on the side, it gives you those names of those dinosaurs. And one of them's called Terra T-Rex. And the other one is Raging Raptor. Which one will we unleash today in the lab? Oh no! This thing has 80 lights and sounds and reactions and it's super fun to create and you can just keep creating and creating and creating and creating and creating and creating and creating your monsters what? as much as you want. Nice. All right, let's head over to the Planet Zizzle Lab and create and unleash our new beast. Yo! All right guys, here we are at the other table where we're gonna be unleashing our new beast. Now cool. this beast lab has two, like I said, two different dinos to unleash and this only contains one dino. This is the Dino Beast Creator. So because we have experience in our last video, what we need to do first is we're going to take this thing out of the box and then we're gonna follow these six steps right here on the back to create our beast. Experiment to create your beast. Prepare to save the world. Follow the experiment by carefully adding the ingredients to the Beast Creator and get ready for some wild battle action as you create your very own beast. Watch the chamber erupt and then unleash your new beast and prepare for battle. All right guys, so we have everything out of the box and I have to say that it's very important that you guys follow each step with the directions. Yes. And do not jump ahead. No. I know your first instinct would be to cut all these ties, but they will go through that in the instructions on when to cut them. So we have two instruction booklets, manual one and manual two. We have this box of ingredients that are super important and a little beaker to measure out some of our chemicals. <gasps> well, not really, but water. Oh. Anyways, we'll start out first and I'll show you guys. This is manual one. We'll go through these directions one by one, step by step. So right here on this side, it says, Get ready when evil forces threaten our world with destruction. Will you be ready to defend mankind? With the power of science and technology, combine the chaotic energy of pandemonium crystals with the primal essence of the world's most fearsome apex predators. Use your beast creator to carefully complete the experiment and prepare for a wild battle action. The power to protect the planet is now in your hands. Which beast will you create? So right on our first step, we're gonna go over some of the components of our beast creator right here. We have the lid, the chamber, the base, right down there, emergency lever button, our heat dial, fingerprint scanner, and the power switch mode. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is insert six 
Double A batteries. Important, do not oh, no. tip the beast creator on its side when inserting the batteries. Uh -oh. And that will be done right here on the back. And leave it in this position and just take off these two plates right here. Let's do that and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Our batteries are in the six double A's. Now, on our next step, before you begin, it's important to cut away the three zip ties as shown. So we have one over here at the top of the lid. We have another one on the side. And then the third one will be right here. So let's do that. Next thing we want to do is remove printed wrap from around the chamber. Warning, experiment can get messy. Place your Beast Creator on a baking tray for easy cleanup. Okay guys, we have the label off. Are you guys ready for the next step on creating our Dino Beast? First, we need to flick power mode switch to creation mode to start. Here we go. It's time to turn on the Beast Lab. Yeah! As you can hear that it's on right there, we need to scan our fingerprint next, right here. Let's. I think it's finished. All right, so now after we have our fingerprint scan, unscrew the lid from chamber. Fill beaker with water to the level shown, then pour into the chamber. All right, so first, let's unscrew the top lid. All right, here we go, unscrewing the lid. All right, we're gonna put the lid aside for now, and then we're gonna fill up our beaker with water and we have a fill line right here to the max. All right guys, I have my water, so let's go ahead and put it in the top of the Beast Creator. Our next step will be to add the fossil fragment. This tooth fragment is the core building block of the beast and determines which species you create. All right, so inside this little box are some other things too, but I know our tooth is in there. There's our tooth fossil. We have some crystal right there. Some other packages, we'll get to those in just a minute. There's four and then we, I think this is skin. Oh, We're gonna add that gross. also. All right, so let's take out our tooth fossil and we're gonna add it to the top. Here it is right here, one big tooth. Let's put it in and see what happens. It is starting to fizz. It's creating our beast slowly. Ooh, all right, we'll wait till that's done. But I know that our next step will be to turn the heat dial up one more. Oh, it looks like we have some of our bio mist starting to come out from the side of the beast creator. All right, so let's go to our next step. But we need to scan our fingerprint first. All right, so over here on the directions, power up the attack. When fingerprint scanner flashes, press to continue. Add the serum. The serum creates a foamy reaction that adds raw fury and attack power to your beast. Oh no! All right, the serum is right in this bag, so we're gonna tear this open and add the serum. Here it goes. All right, all the serum is in. We have a lot going on inside this thing. Check it out. All right, it's time to turn up the heat dial. More bio mist. Uh oh. He wants to get out. Oh boy. Ah! All right, guys, we're heading on to the next level here. This time we're going to be adding skin scrapings. Now, 
an unpredictable mix of skin cells that merge with the beast to create unique markings and armored skin. Cool. All right, so before we go any further, let's scan our finger. All right, and let's get our skin samples ready. Here are the skin samples right here. Let's peel them open. Ooh, this one's hard to get open. All right, so let's see. We got one skin sample in there. We're gonna add that right now. In with the skin. Still cooking. All right, guys, so we're heading on to number four, unleash your beast roar. When fingerprint scanner flashes, press the continue. Oh, but we needed to turn up the heat dial. All right, and add roar rocks. When added, the powder has a fizzy explosion reaction that gives you a beast that's ferocious roar. All right, here's our roar rocks in this bag. We're gonna tear it open right here, and then we're gonna add those right now. All right, here we go. There goes all the fizzy action right there. Let's scan our fingers. All right, guys, we are on number five. Complete the experiment. Add pandemonium crystal. Beware destructive and chaotic energy in crystal form. Powerful when mixed with organic materials. All right. Here is our crystal right here. Let's open it up. We're gonna add this right in the top. Lots of fun stuff going on. And now we need to turn up the heat dial. Whoa! Look at all that bio mist. That was a big roar. Wow, lots of mist. Okay, so before we unleash, we need to contain the beasts first. Put this lid on top. Secure it tight, and then we need to go to our last step right here. All right, it's cooked. Now we need to release this lever and watch the ooze. And it's revealing our beast, there it is. So now what we need to do is cut these two ties and take out the beast. All right, guys, let's reveal the beast. Unlock these two lids and move up. Whoa, look at that. That is cool. Awesome! Uh, help? All right, so we need to remove our beast from this cool contraption. And it's all tied up right now. So let's undo all the ties and take out our new beast. Right, so let's remove our raging raptor because we are on step number eight, but we cut away all those ties behind it. And let's remove the beast. Oh, we need to turn this in the back. There's a little dial in the back here. We need to turn that. And that released the beast. And he is angry. All right, so right on the directions right here, it gives you what to know about your beast. We have battle roar effects that come from the mouth, activate powers, light up pandemonium core, and pandemonium weapon. Right here, it's fully posable. The arms, uh, the shoulders, legs, everything moves, even at the knees. Whoa, and then look at the back, how cool this is. Now, it has all these rubber, green translucent spikes all over his arms, his back. This is one cool dino. We'll press this pandemonium switch right now and see what happens and activate his powers. 
Let's give him his weapon, which is attached to the back here. We have to remove it. All right, and this weapon will go, ah, oh, there we go, okay. It clicks on just like that. There's some more roar sounds. So for more information on your beast, we need to go to our second instructional manual. And then right here at the top it says, get to know your beast. We have the beast port on the back with the off and on switch. Right back there, there's the beast port and the off and on switch. And then over here it says, know your beast. We have the roar effects will come from the mouth. Light up pandemonium core, which is right there. Right now it's green. Power strike attack. All right, so you twist and release. Let's see some power strike attack. Just like that, you twist him and release. Well, you can twist this way and he's got a power strike. That's cool. All right, let's see what else he can do. The roaring sound, we press that. Calming your beast. Once your beast has entered berserk mode, it will remain in this state until it has calmed down. You can calm your beast in two different ways. Return them to the base, or you can press the light up pandemonium core for five seconds, and it will change colors. So berserk mode is when you press the pandemonium core repeatedly. And then he turns red. Oh, he is angry right now. And when you wanna calm him down, you just hold this in for five seconds. And he should turn green again and calm. There he is, now he's in his calm state. So on the second instruction manual, we're gonna have different areas where you can scan QR codes to replace the batteries. Reset your chamber. I'll show you how to do that real quick. And down here, troubleshooting. So when you guys want to reset your chamber, you can do your experiments all over again. Just make sure you have the uh, liquid out first and you can refill that. So on the bottom of your chamber, there's gonna be a button. You just press and hold it and you're gonna see that it fills it right back up. All you need to do is buy a replacement Biomist when it runs out. Right there, see that? And it fills all the way to the top. And you can do it all over again, that's pretty cool. Also guys, if you wanna do free play mode one and free play mode two, now over here, you can make your own unique experiments without mist by playing in free play mode. So those are the three modes. We have creation, mist, mode, power off, and then free play mode down the bottom right here. So when you wanna, you know, start again, you can insert your beast. Just make sure that he goes right back in. You can turn this, it'll lock him into place. And make sure that his weapon is back secured in his uh, holster in the back here. Right there, like that. And then basically you just need to dump this out. Put the lid back on right here like this. Turn it back on and you can start all over again and create your beast one more time and as many times as you want. Pretty cool, right guys? All right guys, that's it for today's video with the Beast Lab. We created our Raging Raptor today and don't forget to share this video with your friends, smash that like button and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off and I'll see you guys on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off out of here.